uh, as usual, Tracy and I are stuck again because, of course, it makes sense that in the middle of summer, in the middle of August, in the middle of summer, there's a mysterious hurricane that just flew up from Mexico or wherever, and, you know, we're stuck because I had to drive through a puddle that I would have never driven through if I had a choice, but it was the road, and that's the way it went, so, yeah, we, we're stuck over at Ralph's, hoping that we don't get towed. Um... We were talking about our life expectancy. I don't, we, neither one of us actually has a lot of faith that we're going to be alive in the next, by the, before the year's over. We've got way too much stress. Just recently, uh, we got uh, s some kind of special enforcement team with guns and flak jackets. And no she swarmed us and arrested me for bullshit, and then uh, illegally tossed our truck up. The stress is off the hook. This piece of shit that we are, that see when, when we're panhandling, he calls the cops every time he sees us. Uh, like yesterday, he called them. And um, for no reason, just that we were there. Um, we've been kicked out of a hotel, Project Room Key Hotel, in the last couple of years, twice, with no notice, no reason, just kicked out illegally, because it doesn't matter whether it's uh, I'm paying the bill or not. There's still tenancy rights. People go, well, you didn't pay the bill. You know what? There's all kinds of fucking people that live in places, and they don't pay because they are the guest of someone else. That's what's up. But when it comes to paying for a project room key room, we have paid. We've paid taxes all our lives. So, uh, I've had a heart attack. I never expected to get a heart attack. I was an arrogant guy that was always stronger than life. Uh, and yet, it, uh, it has a definite effect. She's gone blind and has breast cancer. We, our stress level is off the hook. We got earthquakes today at the same time, the mysterious hurricane, down you, you know. Flood watch it, warnings. There's, flood, flood, warnings. there's flat, flash flood watches. Warnings. We have warnings. people just tripping, being weird on us in every possible aspect. We, well, got, we are the recipients of people's hatred. I can't even imagine, really, I don't know we don't why. We talk to anybody. We try to stay away from everyone. We're, and then the people that we do talk to are, we try to be as polite as possible. Unless you are aggressive and hostile towards us. And even or then, cop. or yeah, if you're a cop, then you can fuck you. Yeah. All we've ever gotten from the cops is... Uh, just bullshit. So, our promise to each other was, when we still had, we lost our kitty, and we, I loved that cat more than I loved any fucking human, and uh, so did she. And then, we loved our dog Doofy more than I've loved any other human, except yep. for her, and she did too. And you know why? Because when we became homeless. Every other fucking person turned their backs on us, betrayed us, uh, actually conspired to work against us, to bury us. That cat and that dog were, loyal. were fastidiously loyal. They could not, we could have shook them if we wanted to. And we all went through a bunch of shit together. So when people say, well, they were just pets, you know, you're not like Oprah, you dog, your dogs or your kids. Let me tell you something. We both got kids. The kids ain't even at all cool. Fuck them. The cat and the dog had better noble traits than any human I've ever known. Every human we've known has dogged us out. 
the dog and the cat, they loved us. And we loved them. We made a promise once the kitty was gone, and we knew Doofy had only so much time. We said we were going to try to make it as right as possible. And it, it was a mess at the end, but it wasn't... He you know, he knew. He knew we loved him. And we did all we could to to give him somewhere decent to die. Yeah, 16 years for a pit bull? Fuck. And, he was and uh, so everybody funny. loved Doof. So that's... That, right there, we have accomplished what we started to. And if the rest of the world can't dig that, well then fuck them, you know what I mean? Uh, we're sitting here, while it's drizzling raining now, hopefully, waiting for the starter to get dry enough that I could fucking jump this thing and get it out of here. Because right now, it's not doing shit. I have been, I'm not even a mechanic. I don't even like mechanics, but I could do some. And I have surprised myself over the years as to the extent of my mechanical ability. Uh, well, I have made bubble gum and bailing wire has been a, a thing with us. It's actually worked. It must be my half Mexican side. Um, but yeah. We've tried everything. All we get is constant hassle. It doesn't matter constant whether... Talk. If this was anyone else, we can't find a lawyer for our shit. All these uh, supposed civil rights lawyers going to fight. We can't. All right, lawyers. Can't. Not unless you're dead. I'm a vet. Very, very... Angry. And I got... No. I, w I went and served to protect... The, help protect the rest of America's right to be free. And yet, I don't get that now. And neither one of us, I've probably been worse than Tracy by far, as far as a person in life, but we're not genuinely bad people at all. We're decent people. We try to help when we can. And we don't get that kind of consideration back. There's been a few people that have helped us and that tried to. But unless someone's willing to fucking give us a room or somewhere that we could be in and do a little bit of recuperation and try to get back on our feet, we're fucked. We can't keep living in this fucking car anymore. Okay. It's killing me. It's killing her. It's uh, And it's showing you know, on top of the big medical problems, we each have a, a, a dozen other little maladies that are, are just, it's just a war of attrition. They just chip away at the stone. And I just, am, I am amazed that out of all the thousands and thousands and thousands of people I've known and that she's known and that we've... Uh, had congenial relations with not one person will will stand up for us. Nobody. So I make this record so that if uh, I don't know, we neither one of us would ever commit suicide. You can be sure of that. No. Um. And so if we get killed in the next, uh, who knows? Because they were kind of wanting to fucking shoot me the other day. Yeah. For whatever reason, I don't fucking know. Uh, here's a and bunch of no cops reason. coming in with flak jackets that no unclip their guns and put their hands on it. Like they're ready to draw on me. And I was sitting on a bucket. Uh, they yanked me out of the car to search it, and, and they tore the car we've apart. We've had, we've had, uh, we've tried, and we've been through so much, too much. Uh, and and neither one of us is giving up, but we do see that, and I've always been a glass half full. I always, I never would say die, never would admit defeat, and yet we both tend to agree that if something doesn't change quick, probably sayonara. And I don't know, I don't know, we're just done. So, YouTube audience and all you guys... We're not getting any money. 
I mean, we're, and we're broke. We, we can't so make broke. any money. Wait. I can't work. I can't. I've tried to work. I would work. I'm blind. No one will hire me for anything. Not even raking their lawn. We're old. starving to death. We're fucking. We're, we're broke, so broke down. We can't. We're broke down. Yeah. We, and we, all we, we get is kicked in the face all every the time. time. We ask for help from any county offices. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. They Not won't call us back. Thing. They, if they do talk to us, they tell us, "Don't call back, or we'll call the police." And we haven't done anything to them. Nope. Yeah. I mean. Uh, I don't understand. And then the one person that could help. Says he cares so much. Oh yeah, the, the homeless liaison. He's the one. They, these the guys are the squad. ones that sick the goon squad on us. That's what we. The piece of shit that I was talking about earlier. He told them I had a fucking gun. I'm an ex-con. I didn't have a gun. I'm no, not crazy. They tossed and uh, trashed our truck for nothing. Yeah. For a lie. For a false. Police for a lie. Report. This guy's always calling the cops, and meanwhile, I, I get, I'm the when it comes to me that, well, maybe he's believable this time, you know. I just hate this fucking world. I hate what it's become. If we do die, it's then it's probably for person. the better, and because this fucking planet is a piece of shit, and uh, except with very few exceptions, I think everybody else is a piece of shit too. So. You know, I just make this statement to let people know that we were cognizant of our imminent peril. And in the meantime... And they did it. Uh, yeah. And they killed us. We're not, we're not trying to die. We no. are not. We're trying to get the fuck <coughs> out, and every time we take a step forward, they push us back four. Yeah. At least. And we're dying out here. Nobody so, wants to be out here. It's not mental illness. It's not drug addiction. It's society. It, they set you up to fucking fail. They yep. promised all this shit. They promised to help. They promised to do this and that and this and that. Nothing. They didn't do nothing. Yep. I mean, it's hard enough just trying to get a hold of anybody. I mean, we can't even get a Unless grunion just to fucking, border, just to get a, we can't even get a grunion to put some gas in the tank to get the fuck out of town. I don't deserve that. I didn't serve enough. Worked most of my life. You, uh, I, come on. Anyway, and I got to say this last thing. To her family and my family, I hope you all die miserable, painful deaths. Like because you don't even give a fuck about us enough. If we did go, you wouldn't know. So fucking blow.